By the grace of God, I'm back and be with you. Praise the Lord again. And I'm thanking God for being able to talk to you, pray for you, and encourage you through the word of God. And those that have asked for a financial prayer, praise the Lord. I pray God to bless you and give you your heart desire, whatever your need is, being sick or, or something you're going through or a financial problem. As somebody have pray, asked for prayer for finances. Pray the Lord. I pray that God will answer your prayers. I pray that God will supply your every need, whatever you need to survive in this world and make your life better for you. I pray God bless you in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' name. And all those that going through sickness and having problems, don't know you're left from your right, your ups and downs. Keep the faith in God. Keep trusting God. I pray God bless you too and help you, deliver you for whatever you're going through. Praise the Lord. We always got something that we go through that we need the Lord to help us to get through it, get around and up and over it and through it, praise the Lord. With his help, God will do it, praise the Lord. Keep your faith. Trust God. Don't give up on the Lord. He ain't going to give up on you. He will not never forsake you, praise the Lord. It might not come when you want it, but he, he always on time. He will answer your prayers. He will deliver you. I believe that. God is not afraid to let people know who he are. He wants you to know him. He wants to know that you can trust him, and he'll do just what he said. Because sometimes we give other people the praises and don't give God the praises, praise the Lord. And ain't nothing wrong with praising Tell him, say somebody help you, but give God the praise. Thank God for this person help you. Thank God for that one help me. Give God the praise, praise the Lord, because they helping you. It's coming from the blessing of God and light on their heart. Sometimes they don't know the Lord, but they'll do something good. That's still a blessing from God. Praise the Lord, allow them to give when they can. And, and, when, and when God, when, whether they save or not save, they do good, God will bless them. He will help them. He'll look out for them. Praise the Lord. Amen. But it's good to do things and being saved and know the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, so you can give him the praise and the honor. All we do in living this world, being born again believers, we're doing these things because when our life is over in this world, our soul and spirit leave this body. We want to go to heaven and live with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we want to give God the praise and thank him for all the good that we do. And if we're not saved, you want to get saved. You want to get saved. This, this ain't when you're dead, you're done. No, it, 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 your soul and spirit got to go back to God, the one that who created us but our body. Do go back to the, we'll go to the dust, praise the Lord, amen, <laughs> uh, to the grave or wherever we be buried at, praise the Lord. Some people be create, 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 cremated, I'm trying to say praise the Lord, but nevertheless, however it's done, the soul, the spirit is gone from the body and it's gone back to God. And if he's going, and God has sent some of the videos that God going to judge us how we lived in this world, so all the good that we do, praise the Lord, and we want to go over the amount that we should do. With the help of the Lord, helping people, caring about people, praying for people, not putting people down, not saying them things about them, not trying to get them in trouble or hurt them any kind of way. Let your heart and your mind be clean before the Lord, and only God can help you to do that. We have to pray and ask God to help us. Get the sinful, let our sinful nation die, our sinful nation die daily, Lord Jesus, that we be obedient and be the children of God that you want us to be, Lord. And help us to do to your will. Help us to love others. Won't we pray for others? Praying for peace, praise God. We don't know that these things are gonna happen because it tells us in the book of Revelation. But we still pray for peace. We still pray to get along with one another, not hate one another, because we know hate is not of God, it's of the devil. That evil spirit that trying to make us hurt one another, hate one another, praise God, and don't want to see no nobody do good or uh, be good or don't want to see them talking about God or anything. And you look, when you got a person that really saved God and loves ser is serving God, what I'm trying to say, love the Lord, you don't have an enemy because they're not going to hurt you because they fear God. And not only that, that hatred and all that stuff is not in their heart because daily they're being watched clean to those things that they read the scripture and, trust, and put their trust in God and believe in him. Those things are taken out of their heart and their mind, praise God. Amen. It's like some people saying in the neighborhood, oh, well, you're doing good. Let the police live in your neighborhood. People are do good and that's true because they know police live in the neighborhood so they ain't gonna be as bad as they would be in a neighborhood that that don't in some neighborhoods some people don't care praise the lord who in the neighborhood they want to hurt you they try to do it anyway but i'm just using that as an example praise god you got somebody to love god and really rooted and grounded in the lord and trust god and have the love of god in their heart the fear of god in their heart you got a good friend, praise the Lord. Amen, praise the God. So I'm come to you and want to pray for you. To to For those, I'm trying to say that, ask for prayer, that uh, say they had a finance, uh, want to finance uh, prayer, 
because they were having financial problems. Praise the Lord. And then I pray God bless you in a mighty way, in a special way, and deliver you and help you, whatever you're going through, whatever your need is. I pray God that he give it to you. And when God bless that door and open it up for you, I don't know when he's going to do it, but keep your trust in him. Don't give up on it. Keep saying, Lord, I know you're going to do it. Lord, I know you're going to do it. When the devil try to make you doubt, he say, God, I know you're going to do it because you know my needs. You know I need this to happen. I can't make it if you don't give me this financial blessing, Lord. In some way, somehow, God opened up that door. I believe it, praise the Lord. It happened to me many a times. I didn't know it. I said, like they say, I didn't see it coming, but it came. When I know anything, God had delivered me from things that I needed and given me things I need. Praise the Lord. The door was open, and praise God. I'm so glad about it, and I believe God do the same thing for me and a thousand of Christians that believe in him, even though we first saved. Before we get saved, what I'm trying to say, God will bless us anyway. He have mercy on us. But when we come to the truth of the time that we're supposed to accept him or not, re- or not reject him, then that's when the things start turning bad for us, when we don't reject God. When, when we reject God, praise the Lord, when we reject him, amen, we lose faith in him. We don't believe in him, praise the Lord. Then he can't bless us like he would do if we do know him because we are know to thank him for the things good that's happening in, in our life, praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. And sometimes God lets you go through a little trouble sometimes so we can turn to him and trust him and believe in him and see the salvation of him through us being blessed with the thing we have prayed and asked for. So I believe God going to answer your prayers. Trust him as I said before. Don't don't give up on God because he ain't going to give up on you. Don't abandon him. Stay with him. He's not going to abandon you. If you want these things and he see what you need, you ask him for the saints of God to pray for you that God would open that, that door that you'll get your financial blessing. And I believe it's going to happen to you. I believe by faith that God's going to bless your financials. Praise the Lord. Amen. And all those that are in that condition, praise the Lord. I pray God bless you. And I had my own self in there. Praise the Lord. I need more finances myself. God bless me and help me along with you and with all those that need help. Our financial blessing with the Lord and all us that's sick and afflicted in our mind and body and soul don't know our love from our right. We ask for healing. We ask for deliverance from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I'm going to leave a couple uh, of um, scriptures with you in Psalms 50. It's going to be in the book of Psalms 51. And get all my praise and honor of God. Praise the Lord. I'm going to leave a couple of those scriptures with you that you can go there and read. It's a, to praise and honor God. You all, this is what we do, praise the Lord, the praise and honor God. Amen. Them that don't know God and them that want to know God, praise the, praise the Lord. Accept him as your personal Savior, and he'll lead you to scriptures and to things that will help you through this trying time in our life, praise the Lord. And it says, to praise and honor God. These are prayers, praise the Lord. It says, you are my strength and my song. The Lord is my strength and my song. You have gave you have gave me victory. You are my God, and I, amen, will praise you, my God, my Father God, and I will exalt you. The Lord is a warrior. Why ye is his name. Praise the Lord. No one is stronger than you, Lord. That's Exodus, Exodus 15, 6, and 7. Your right hand, O Lord, is glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, smitters the enemy. And the great and the greatness of your majesty, you overthrow those who are who rise against you. You unleash your blarry fury, your blasting fury, it consumes them like like straw. Those are the enemies that fights against God. That's not talking about he's gonna hurt you or do anything to you. He's talking about the enemies against God. Praise the Lord. These things God did. And back in the Exodus, the Old Testament book, they God, they had a lot of fight, fights and wars and things going on. Then just like we got wars and things going on here, but our wars is modern. They were that were different kinds of fighting that they did back then. But see, even in this time, God gonna take care of the enemy in His time. Praise the Lord. Don't fret not that sails over evil dudes, cause they soon will be cut off. God gonna cut them off. Don't you try to do it. Leave it to the Lord. Then you belongs to God. Amen. Praise God. You and it says in. And uh, First Samuel two one and two, praise the Lord. You you rescued me. My heart rejoiced in the Lord. The Lord has made me strong. Now I have an answer for my enemies. I rejoice because you rescued me. No one is holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. That's First Samuel second chapter one and two. Praise the Lord. And the last. 
You keep your promises with unfailing love. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Love us unfailing love. He didn't wait till we get holy and get the Holy Ghost and get saved and start tr- trusting and, and, and praising Him and living right with His help. He to loved us when we was in the worst of our sins. Praise the Lord. He looked down and went to the cross and died for our sins to live us out of these sins and give us the Holy Spirit so we can live right and we have a heavenly home when our soul and spirit lead this body because none of us are here to stay. We're going to leave whether we're young or old one day, but live right the way God's saying, love, praise the Lord, and praise God for everything and all things, praise the Lord, and just keep trusting God, he, he know how much we can bear, what we can go through, and what we can't, you trust him, you know it's like a baby, you got to take care of baby, he can't, a baby cannot take care of themselves, they need you to take care of them, and you do, if you're a good mother, a good father, a grandmother, you will do your job, and God is like that. He more better than that. He even take care of your grandmother and your grandfather, and they are dosing. He look on us. God look on us as children, not grown people like we look at one another, as helpless without him, that we need him, whether we're young or old, and it's true. And God said, I'll be with you in your old age, just like I was with you in your young age. I will never forsake you and never leave you. When, when we don't have our... Our connection with God is because we've done something. We have turned away from God. We don't believe Him no more. Please believe in Him regardless of what happens. Still ask God to help you to keep the faith in Him. You, it'll work for it in the end. I'm going to finish this one where it says, um, You keep your promises with unfailing love. O oh Lord God of Israel, there is no God like you in all, the, uh, in all of heaven above or on the earth be, below. You keep your you keep your covetous and shows, praise the Lord, and shows unfailing love to all who walk before you in in wholehearted devotion, in wholehearted devotion, praise the Lord. God wants us to work, walk before him in wholeheartedly devotion. I mean, trusting him with everything and in all things, praise the Lord. God wants to continue trusting and believe in him. And see what God do, just what he say he'll do. We are the re Christians that talk for God and say what the Lord do and praise the Lord in our life. We are been redeemed. I'm been redeemed. I'm a redeemer. God has redeemed me from my sin, from my sins. He has redeemed me and a thousand Christians from their sins. Many of you can't even count. I am a redeemer, praise God, amen. I believe in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in it, and I know I have seen his work in my life and still do. And he that keeps me together today, I go to God and pray. I read my scripture, pray to the Lord, and ask the Lord to help me to be what he wants me to be. Not my will, but let his will be done. Give up to God. Trust God. I'm telling you, be happy that you that you did. And I pray God bless you in a mighty way, in a special way. Answer your prayers, answer your needs, whatever it is that you need, financial blessing or some other things going on in your life. I pray God bless you and you live your and I believe that He will. I believe that He will. Praise God. Amen. Uh then remember my my channels, Pastor Annabelle Chase. Uh give me a thumb up. I don't want to hear from you. Praise God. Amen. I'm not out to hurt you. I'm out to help you through the word of God and hoping that one day you believe in God if you don't already do. Praise the Lord. May God bless you and keep you from all hurt, harm, and unseen danger. Praise God. Keep you under his blood. God is good and he loves us. Amen and amen. Keep trusting him. Don't, don't, God will never fail you. Never fail you.